In the state, 74 now in Norfolk, here in Richmond, 68 degrees. And our satellite view over the east tonight showing a storm center up in the northeast actually strung out up into northern New England. Uh, big backlash circulation around this, producing a lot of cloudiness in the northeast. But for us, we're just catching a bit of that coming over the mountains now. And as soon as the sun sets, that cloud cover is going to dissipate. The jet stream showing a big U-turn here just to our west. This little bit of energy is supporting that cloudiness and the storminess up in the northeast and also funneling in some cooler temperatures. We're going to catch this component of the jet stream tomorrow. Coming in from the northwest, it will drive in a little shot of cooler air, and along with that, some sunshine tomorrow, so we'll knock a few degrees off those temperatures. And tomorrow night, it's going to be downright cold, with low temperatures dropping into the upper 30s before the sun comes up early Saturday morning. Uh, once again, we have a lot of purple on the screen here. <laughs> this computer does it to me every time. Let's go to the forecast map for tomorrow. It's done it again. <laughs> okay, how can I tap dance to a soft shoe? <laughs> That's what I get for making fun of Gene, all right? Um, I don't know if we can go to the forecast or not. I keep punching through this. Okay, it's not going to work, folks. Forecast for tonight looks like this. We're going to have some uh, partly cloudy skies to clear skies this evening. And I want to just stand here and, okay, here we go. Five day forecast. <laughs> I can make a quick escape here. Sunshine tomorrow, temperatures of 65. 67 for a high on Saturday, some rain on Tuesday. 37 the nighttime low tomorrow night. Oh, mm. boy. I I'm not going to talk anything about Gene anymore. I thought I saw Gene's <laughs> profile in some of those graphics. <laughs> it's not nice to Could fool Mother Nature or <laughs> Uncle Gene. Or Uncle uh, Gene. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Well, the renegades are off to a good start. southeastern North Carolina, but basically this is all happening in advance of a trough of low pressure. And then we have a cold front coming in behind that. Both of these systems really lighting up the sky. All, sh all colors you can imagine up here, purples, and uh, it's dark out, too. There's a little glitch in the computer. This is going to kind of do a little dance here <laughs> to get through this. Uh, we're going to have the forecast for you in just a second because of this computer glitch. Sunset. Talk about some of Jim's more embarrassing moments. Here we go. Sunny and less humid. Uh, don't pay attention to all of this stuff. We're going to get through this, folks. 90 degrees, our temperature for a forecast for tomorrow. Clear skies tomorrow night with a low of 66. I give up. Oh, my goodness. There we go. The five-day forecast. Thank goodness for that. We're going to have some sunshine Thursday and Friday. Lower humidity, the big one in the forecast. And then some thunderstorms possible Saturday afternoon. That's what I get for talking about hurricanes when we should be talking so about... So if we look exposed. outside and see pink weather, we should take cover, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of a refreshing bit of excitement. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that? It was different. I, I really, rather enjoyed it. Thanks, Never let them see you sweat, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, Real...